Hi everyone, Colour Me Ames here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my Douglas Cuddle Toys Ghost Collection. They're super duper cute and I hope you enjoy having a look at them with me. So this first one here on the left is Buffy the baby goat and she's got sort of like a curly co-hair uh, fur type on her. So I'll just show you the tag. So Buffy the baby goat and then you can just sort of see the texture a little bit closer so she's got lots of different colors happening so she's got that nice uh, creamy color and then white and then brown super soft and it's got a cute little nose there so that's Buffy the next one that we have which is also cohair but it's a bit more of a straight cohair feel about it this is Bodie Bodie the goat small this one is really cute. I love the little floppy ears on Bodie that sort of stay down. This one sometimes doesn't want to cooperate and it likes to come up a little bit, but I think that's really cute and quirky. He's got beautiful big eyes that are just so cute and they almost sort of pop out of his little head. So that's really cute. And his little horns there, as you can see. So there's Bodie. The next one that we have here is Gertie. So she's not co-hair, she's just sort of got that lovely soft feel that we've come to expect from Douglas. So I'll just show you her tag. So Gertie the goat. She doesn't have little horns, Gertie. Maybe she's a baby. <laughs> Grown into it, but she's got a, a sweet face to her. And she's sort of got that um, different type of texture on her little nose and mouth there versus around the eyes and on the body. So that's really cute. There you go. There's Gertie. And this next one, which has beautiful eyelashes, is Brady. So I'll just show you Brady's tag. So Brady the large floppy goat. And he's got sort of like a nice fine coat on him. It's lovely and soft. Um, yeah, but definitely a different sort of feel. And he's got those ears that sort of floppy hang down by his head as well, which is really cute. And these little brown hooves there. And the goatee, which is really cute. He's just really sweet. I love the eyelashes. It's just so unique. Uh, he's the only goat I have here that has those eyelashes. So that's really cool. So there's Brady. He's a lovely big one for cuddling. Another one which is the same size as Brady is Seth the Mountain Goat. He's part of the deluxe range. So there's the tag there. Seth the Mountain Goat. I find it really cute on Seth actually the horns and the hooves on the camera. I feel like they're sort of showing up as a black or a really dark grey. But um, yeah, when you compare it to his nose, you can definitely see that they're grey, not black. If you guys can see that, I think it's really cute. It's quite unique, the colouring on it, actually. And he's got a lovely um, soft nose and a soft face about him. And then he's got that long hair on his body. And then soft little stockings, if you will, on his legs again. So he's really nice. They're all really nice. <laughs> they're beautiful. So there's Seth the mountain goat. Another mountain goat that I have here is Maggie. There she is. So she, in uh, contrast to Seth, Maggie's got the goatee. <laughs> there she is. She sort of got um, co-hair fur about her as well. So that sort of thick, not woolen, but I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure you can sort of see it. It's a bit thicker versus the fine fur on Brady. So anyway that's the sort of the difference that they have and then she's got that soft fur on the face and on the inner ear. So I'll just show you the tag. Maggie the mountain goat and she has got that black colour on her hooves and on her horns as well. So she's really cute. Next one that I have here, as you all know I love my little handfuls, is the goat little handful. And she came with these flowers in her hands or hooves. So that's really cute. Just show you the tag. Spring assorted goat handful with nosegay. 
so there's what, that one. You can also get the goat little handful without the flowers. Um, the seller that I got this one from only had this one at the time. I think it's really cute. It's nice and unique to have those flowers there. It's really sweet. So there's that one. And then the next one that we have here is Giselle. I get very uh, enchanted, the movie, the Disney movie vibes when I hear the word Giselle. <laughs> Anybody else a Disney fan here? Um, so she's really cute. Sometimes I feel like her fur covers her eyes a little bit and she looks a little bit sleepy, but she does actually have a really beautiful face. Giselle, and she's got the cute little pink ears about her. And her um, fur, or fa the fabric that they've used on Giselle here is a bit... Uh, coarser than some of the other ones. Makes her seem um, and feel like a, a real goat, which is really cute. So that's really nice. And the last one that I have here to show you is Poppy, the floppy goat. And she, to me, almost looks like Giselle's baby. If you have a look at them together, they have like similar colorings and they both have that cute little horns about them and they've got the pink ears they just look really cute together I think to show you Poppy a little bit more so Poppy is the same level of softness as Skeffy the donkey that I've shown you in my previous video so she's lovely and soft and another thing that I love about Poppy is the thread or embroidery that they've used on her little nose and mouth it's pink it's really cute and there she is. There you go, guys. Those are the goats that I have in my Douglas Cuddle Toy collection. Hope you've enjoyed looking at them with me. If you've got any questions or comments that I can help you with about the ones that I do have here, please don't have hesitate to ask. Happy to help you guys out. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're all staying safe and keeping well. Thanks, guys. Bye.